quickly to show you how to set up for your Maze project. The first thing you need to do is to create a new project. So go to File, Project Window, and you're going to click on New. And since this is your very first project, you can um, call it Maze Project and your last name. Okay. Click on the yellow photo for which you would like to save this project. My seems to have. Okay, here it is. Um, I'm going to go ahead and save it in my um, MA131 folder under. Um, just under that folder, uh, you should be saving it at the location of your choice. And I'm going to hit this up. Okay. Once it is saved, I'm going to go to File, Save Scene As. Oops, didn't mean to click on that. File, Save Scene As. And I'm going to go ahead, and you can see that it is now in the project folder. I'm going to name it as Ash. Maze. All right. Um, so let's say I have created a drawing of a maze or uploaded something from the internet. You can go ahead and set up a reference image. So to do that, you are going to go to create polygon primitive plane, or you can simply click under the polygon tab uh, on the um, shelf, click on this button. All right. This will bring up a polyplane. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty small, so I'm going to scale it to 25 on all axes because that's the size of the grid. And I'm so also going to go to the input and take away all these subdivisions because we don't need them. All right. Now, once that's done, you're going to right click. I'm going to choose Assign Favorite Material, and you are going to choose Lambert. We're getting ready to assign a picture to this plane. Um, your attribute editor opens up. You can see the color channel. Click on this checker box, choose file, and upload an image. Now, I have forgotten to put the image in my source images folder for this particular project because I was working on classwork. So make sure you put the image in there before you upload the image. And this is a potential problem for those of you later on who use textures and you forgot to put them in your project folder, they will not show up. Okay, so I will correct that in a few minutes, but uh, for the sake of the video, the image is found under classwork. I'm going to click on Maze, and I'm going to click Open. So this is just a sample maze I download from the internet, and in order to see the maze on screen, click on this checkered box right here, and you see it. All right. Okay, so I have a picture of a maze that I'm going to use as a reference for creating my um, my personal maze. However, um, what's going to happen is if I start creating it, you notice that every time I click on here, um, it's going to select the polyplane that I just created. So what you can do is go back to your channel box, and you are going to come down here to the layers panel. And what you want to do is place them in a layer, place this polyplane in a layer and use it as a reference image. So no matter what you do, you can't click on it. So you notice now that I can just click on it. And if I start moving things around, I'm going to be moving this image. All right. Um, by the way, letter Z is to undo. So with this plane selected, I'm going to go down to the Layers panel and click on this little icon right over here on the right. And that will uh, place this into a layer. So if you click on V, it disappears, and V will reveal it. But something else you can do is on the next box, right next to V, if you click once, it becomes a template. And obviously, it is just a wireframe of the plane, so it's not going to help us. But if you click one more time, it's going to become a reference image. At this point, you can double click on this and name it as reference to keep yourself organized. You can also change the color coding. Um, at this point, you can see that no matter what I do, I can't click on this reference image. So at this point, you can now begin modeling your maze. So we're going to start with a cube. Um, start going into your various views. And again, if you can't see this in here, press number four. And in order to see the image, 
press this um, checkered button right over here. Okay? Oh, that should show up. Let's see. Hold on a second. There you go. All right. Um, you can also choose the X-ray component. That would lighten up your um, polygon cube. So let me show you. All right. If I choose this, it'll lighten it, the cube. X-ray. I'm sorry. Um, so that you can now choose this one. You can now model um, effectively. So you can start at any point. So let's say I'm going to start right over here at this point or maybe right there. Okay. Press F to zoom in so that you can line up the grid. If you need to resize it right now, you can. You can um, use the R key and size it to fit that. Or you can right click, go to vertex. You can drag this up to meet the size. Drag this over here to meet the width and drag this over here before you continue. Right click, go back to object mode. Alright, so we now have a box set up to start um, working to create the maze. So the next step is to right click on this box and choose face. You are now going to take the extrude tool and notice that the maze, the box is kind of sitting in the center of the grid. So at this point, before you extrude, you can also select the box and move it up so that it rests on, on the, um, the imaginary plane. Um, over here in the front view or the side view, you can also drag it up so that it rests exactly on it. Okay. Going back to your perspective, right click on the face, click on this face, and you can then drag all the way across to start setting up um, your maze. Okay. At this point, the best thing to do is to go to the top view because in this view, you can now see um, where your objects are. Um, I also like to use this feature called the wireframe on shaded. So even if it's not selected, I can I know that um, there's an object right here because I can also see the wireframe. So now you're going to use the insert edge loop to begin um, creating details. So with this box selected, I'm going to go to Edit Mesh. And where's Insert Edge Loop? Mesh, I'm sorry. Mesh Insert Edge Loop tool. And I'm going to drag an edge, an edge loop right over here. All right. And if you hold down the left click and, and not release it, you can move it around because this is the part where there's a wall that comes out. I also have another one right here, right here, right here, right here, and right here for this wall to go that way. When you are done, press the Q tool. And that will give you the, the divisions that you need to begin modeling and extruding your maze. So I'm going to start with right click, select the face, go to this face, hit the extrude button which is right here or it's under um, edit mesh, face, extrude. Make sure you choose the face option and not the edge option or the vertex option. Uh, but it's easier to choose this one. Okay. So I'm going to zoom in and I'm just going to drag on the blue arrow till I get this face to meet the image. All right, press Q to drop the tool. Now I'm going to select this face and because I'm using the same extrude tool and that was the last tool I've used, you can hit G and it'll automatically repeat the tool for you. Click and drag right there. So I'm going to continue. Now I'm going to click on this face, hit G, drag it all the way up here, and click on this face, hit G. I'm going to zoom out some. And at this point, you can also go back to the top view to get a better view of your maze and drag this all the way out to the end. Q to drop the tool. As you can see, it's a pretty simple process. Um, to start to create this maze and now you can start adding details like for instance I will cut another edge loop here and and bring it out this way cut an edge loop over here and bring out that way so let me demonstrate that real quick so going back to the object mode you have to be in object mode to cut an edge loop going back to the top view um, so that I can see exactly where I need to cut you can zoom in 
And if this is not lined up and you would like it to line up properly, you can always right click on vertex. You see those vertices, you know, drag across, left mouse click, drag across, use the move tool and move the vertices up. Okay, and then go back to object mode. So I'm going to go back to insert edge loop, which is under mesh, insert edge loop. And put one right over here and one right over here. Oh, one over here, that's it. All right, because there's no geometry here. Um, go back to object mode, and you can see now that, uh, make sure this is also selected. thought I did that just now. Um, you can see that you have now a start of a maze, and I can right click, go to face, click on this face, hit extrude, pull this out where it needs, Q to drop the tool, right click, go back to object mode, I'm going to now um, go back to the top view, um, go to Mesh, Insert Edge Loop, and insert an edge loop right over here. Q to drop the tool. Go back to your perspective view, right click on face, select the face, hit Extrude, and drag this out. Okay, there you go. All right. Uh, I can see that this is not quite where I need it to be, so I'm going to select this face, press W to move, and I'm just going to move it slightly out. All right, so uh, at this point, you're going to continue by creating a new box, starting over here, or you can start over here. It really doesn't matter where you start, um, because it, it really doesn't matter. So I'm going to go ahead and start a new cube. I'm going to bring this cube to this corner right over here. Again, go back to my top view, press F to frame it, and I'm going to move it into position. Uh, again, sizing it up to meet the size of my reference image. Right click, go to vertex, drag, select these two with the move tool. I'm going to move it down so it meets the edge of the picture. I'm also going to drag this over so that it forms a square over here. Right click, go to um, and at this point, you can also, with those vertices selected, you can also drag them across all the way over here. Okay. Uh, one thing I do want to show you, when you select a vertex from the orthogonal or flat views, like the, the, um, the top, the side, and the front view, if you just click on it and select it, chances are sometimes, as you can see, you only select the top vertex. So make sure you click and drag over the vertex like this. Or if you need to, you're going to drag like this. And this way, when you pull this versus over, you're selecting both the top and the bottom point. Okay? So I'm going to bring all the way over here. Go back to my perspective view. Take a quick look at what I did. All right. Right click. Go to object mode. And now, again, I can begin to insert edge loop here, here. Drag the, the walls over, edge loop, and so forth. All right. So this is a quick... Um, introduction to how you can create your project and of course you can extend your maze up create some fancy parts um, on it with some of the tools that I'm going to demonstrate to you next class if you like or you can just make a simple maze now of course the maze does not have to be a square it could be any shape you like uh, so be creative the grid paper is a very good reference for you to start making a creative maze uh, so that I won't see everybody's maze as a rectangular or square maze that is um, sort of uh, has a similar look. Okay? Alright? Thank you.